All right, guys, we are we are not looking good right now. First, I've got this huge stack of just random cookie cutters, and I haven't put them on my wall because not all of the pieces have like holes big enough to go on the hooks. So I really, really need to reorganize that. I've got random things lying here. Like why are the candy melts here? I have no idea. Um, I just have some random products out. I've got to find a home for these where they're not going to get stuff on them. Um, and I do have cupboard space. I just, I just haven't done anything with them. And then I've got all of these hooks here that I got so long ago, but I just never got around to actually doing anything with them. And as you can see, it's gotten really, really crowded on my cookie cutter wall. I'm starting to have difficulty now finding things, which is obviously not the goal of the cookie wall. Uh, but you can see I already installed way more. And so I need to, I need to get this organized. Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. But as you can see from the title, I'm actually reorganizing my whole home bakery right now. So this is my second kitchen that we're in. I don't store anything other than all of my baking supplies in this kitchen. Now this area is actually pretty small in terms of square footage and floor space, but it does have really high ceilings. So in order to work with that and to make sure that everything actually fits into this kitchen, I decided to build this slat wall all the way up this wall. And by me, I really just mean my husband helped me do this because I would probably not be very good at this and the wall would be falling off. But I digress, and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me where this wall is from if you've seen my previous videos where I first organized this, and I bought this slat wall off of Wayfair. It is a little bit pricey. You could do the same thing with a pegboard as well. I just really like the look of the slat wall in this space. Now what I'm having to do is I'm having to reorganize all of the brand new cookie cutters that I've received over the last few months. To be honest, it really didn't even feel like I had gotten that many new cutters, but there were some hooks that had about 10 10 cookie cutters on them as opposed to the one or the set that they should have. Now I did actually want to leave more space for more cookie cutters to be added onto. However, I realized that my chocolate molds were actually popping right out of that whole rack that I had them in before. So it was a much better plan for me to put them on this bottom rack, which I will show you in a little bit. Now what's going in in these bins are all of the little letters and cutters that don't have spaces large enough for the holes as I showed you in that beginning portion. Now when I've looked up slat walls and slat wall accessories in general, it always seems to be in the context of gardening or in the garage. So what I like about that is they're really, really heavy duty. So you can actually put quite a bit of weight onto your slat wall. And I like that the bins are nice and sturdy. I will show you the progress that we made on that towards the end of the video, but now it's time to fix up the sprinkle wall. And periodically, because I get paid in sprinkles whenever I work at Happy Cakes, shout out to Happy Cakes and my best friend Rachel who owns it, I get a whole bunch of new sprinkles. So that means that my sprinkle collection is a little out of control right now and my colors are all over the place because when I'm rushing to color things, I tend to not put them back where they should go. And I really need to get out of that habit. I know this organization is probably going to get messed up in no time because obviously I need to restock on all those Christmas sprinkles. Now here is the remnants of what happened when I made the Dalgona candy if you guys saw that video. So it's time to get scrubbing and I must say that having a gas stove has its blessings for sure. I really love that it heats very very quickly. However, it does get so much dirtier than just a flat top. I am not the greatest when it comes to deep cleaning. My husband is much better at that but I do know how to get sugar off of things. Sometimes what I do is I will take a torch to the things that have sugar caked on there and I will fire it up or I'll just get really, really hot water, place it on there for a little bit and it comes right off. Hardened sugar can be really intimidating because it looks like it's just a giant sticky mess that will never come off but a little bit of heat will go a long way and this isn't the cleanest, cleanest I could get it, but it definitely looks much better than when we first started. Now moving along to the job that I'm not as big of a fan of and that is clearing out all of those corner cupboards. I swear you could fit like three children in these corner cupboards, but they're so awkwardly placed that I don't like to store a whole lot of things in there. So firstly, what I'm doing is I'm taking out all of the bulk items that just got chucked under into that corner cupboard and I'm actually placing it into my 
my containers so I can use them and I know that they're there. And I didn't show this in the video, but I did end up putting all of those cupcake containers in the more cavernous areas of those corner cupboards. I don't need them on a readily basis, so that is going to be just fine. They're tucked away and now they're not going to get any excess flour or icing sugar tossed all over them. And I actually have a space to work again in here if I want to. I'm also reorganizing all of those cookbooks there and making sure that all of my recipes are back where they need to be. So here is the before of the cookie cutter wall. We had so many things stacked together that no longer made sense and I couldn't make heads or tails of where things actually belonged. So now what I did was I switched things up a little bit. I added these chocolate molds on the bottom just to utilize that space as much as possible. And then I also added in all of these things that could no longer be put on hooks and I love this system. Once everything is a little bit more settled and solidified, I'm going to add labels on here so that I know exactly which cookie cutters are inside which bins so that I don't have to go rifling through and trying to figure it out because let me tell you, some of those pieces don't look like they belong together. And as we go through here, I know it looks a little bit chaotic, but I know what's going on finally. We got plaques and regular shapes on the bottom. It goes all the way up into different categories food animal with Christmas at the top since that's the one that I use the least. Now I admittedly didn't have to do too too much work with my sprinkle wall but I did fix some things so that they're just a little bit more neat and tidy. So at the top there I have all of the sprinkle mixes that I don't use as often or their seasonal sprinkle mixes. And and then as we get lower, we get more into the more neutral sprinkles that are used a lot more often, both on sugar cookies, cakes, and cupcakes. And then when we get down to the bottom here, I have a few more sprinkle mixes that I actually would prefer to have higher up because I don't use these as often, but I didn't feel like moving that whole set just so that they would be at the top. Now I have all of my dusts and my powders and my sparkles. Now I'm really not a huge user of these things, so I don't have a ton, a ton of them. I have a lot more colorings. So these are all of my airbrush colors that I like to use on a regular basis. And then I've got my gel food colorings, which I probably use the most. And yes, I know some of those tops look a little unsightly, but I just didn't get around to cleaning those off. Now in previous videos, I've shown you where I hold all of my bulk ingredients, which is underneath the sink to the right there, but I don't show it in this video. But now I finally have all of my ingredients where they are usable for me. Nothing written on my baking calendar so far, but I do have some ideas, especially for Vlogmas. And I have my little cake stand there ready for some more dessert. I am so happy that I now have that counter cleared. I cannot tell you how happy that makes me when I look at this. So finally, I have organized my wall. I absolutely love this wall now. Um, but I, I discovered something. Yeah, I discovered all of these cookie cutters that I can't put on the wall um, because there are these lovely ones that I got from Flycalf and they have these little imprinters in them. So it makes it really difficult for me to store them on the wall. As you can see, I have run out of space. So I am going to get more of these bins. I'm gonna purchase more of these place these in there. Now the problem is, is that I don't know categorically if I can put some of these together, so they'll have to sit alone in the box. So we'll see, I still, let me show you guys. I still have room way up there, up there, but obviously I can't access those that well. So we will have to see what I do in actually organizing that part. I still have a few things too in my corner cupboards here that I'm not perfectly happy with. One of the things that I'm really not happy with right now is the way that I've organized my piping tips. They're, they're all over the place. Every time I open the drawer, they fall over. So I am going to be reorganizing those. I just kind of showed you guys the things that I've organized thus far. This is always an ongoing thing for us bakers, right? So let's get into the subscriber submission of the day. I absolutely love these cookies and super fitting to share a cookie order since I just redid my whole cookie cutter wall. These are so fun. I think these were for Halloween and they're absolutely perfect. Be sure to go and check them out on Instagram where you can like them and follow them. And if you want to be the next featured subscriber on my channel, be sure to follow me at SD Bake Shop on Instagram where you can either send me a photo or tag me in a photo. Any and all desserts welcome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Speedy Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. 
Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye.